What? A day. Beautiful rain. A blessing of the Lord. Some, I love it when it rains. Then the sun comes out. And everything looks so clean and clean and shiny. We carry on today with our wonderful message of love. We did love. Love more. Uh, love again. More love. Uh, the Bible is packed with love because God is love. It's filled with love. And I've chosen, as I said yesterday, a very simple, childlike song to bring home simplicity. Simple things confound the wise. And so we play the very simplest song I could ever find on Jesus Loves Me. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. This might bring you back down to your days when you were in uh, Sunday school. Maybe you weren't, but listen to it now, even if it's for the first time. It's an absolute, absolutely beautiful song. So true. Stood the test of time. And today I, I share on His love. I teach on His love. And I pray for you that you have a revelation of His love. His love. It changes all. We can only love because He loved us first. This is what the Word says. And so it's just wonderful seeing you all. Olivia, good to see you. Wonderful to have you all along today again. And love is a universal language. Wherever I've preached in the world, doesn't matter if it's Egypt, Pakistan, India, up Africa, Tasmania, uh, United Arab, Arab Emirates, uh, the United Kingdom, Germany. It doesn't matter. Wherever we preach, every single person seeks the love of the Father. It's a, the love of the Father. It's a universal language. Uh, it's a, everybody seeks love. Everybody seeks love. Unfortunately, those that should have loved have not loved and it's caused tremendous hurt. And so people are put their arms out, arm's length, come only arm's length. They don't allow one to love them. And love isn't a bad word. Love isn't a, a word that is clothed in lust, the ability to get at the expense of others. Love is a beautiful word. And when you love, you can't help but give. God is love. He gives. Grace without love is law. Love without grace is a perversion. Christianity without love is religion. And so we have this beautiful love which He bestows upon us. The cross of Calvary was an injunction. What does an injunction mean? It means that, you know, when you're driving along a road and you have a junction, you flow into another road. There's a junction it's a, where the roads meet. And so we have this junction, Yulandi, uh, of His love when we come to the cross of Calvary. The, his love, the icon, you know, on... Uh, on uh, on social media, there are many icons. I mean, on your on your phone, you've got these little icons, little round things or little square things with a with a type of design on it or a type of uh, logo on it. That when you see it, you immediately know what it is. Uh, this is this is the icon. This is the, an icon that has stood for two thousand years. This icon uh, of love. Here it is. Here, love demonstrated for all to see. Huh? Absolutely wonderful. And uh, this reminds me, you might have heard the story that I, that I do tell sometimes. Uh, the story of, uh, of this prisoner of war, this American prisoner of war. The guy's actually in the Senate now. His name is John McCann. He used to be a fighter pilot in the Second World War. And he was shot down over Vietnam. Or not in the Second World War, in the Vietnam, Vietnamese War. In Vietnam, the War of Vietnam, and he was shot down and taken captive by the Vietnamese. You know, those people are, can be absolutely ruthless, cruel. 
and uh, they used to tie the prisoners of war of which he was they used to tie them up at night tie them in in very awkward positions that they have pain the whole night so they cannot sleep and uh, every night that they they tied him up in a dreadful way there was a, a little Vietnamese man officer that used to come to him him alone and untie him a little bit, loosen his fetters, uh, loose him a little bit, so he's just in comfort. And uh, this this continued for for months on end, where this guy at night would come and untie him, not loosen him completely, but just loosen the 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 tightness in the guys that he's making tighter. But in actual fact, he was loosening him. And then the once John McCann or Senator John McCann was walking out of the, the dormitory where they were kept and there he saw the little Vietnamese officer and the Vietnamese officer as John McCann passed him on the ground with his foot drew the that fish you know that reborn fish that people sometimes have on the back of their cars hmm? and so it doesn't matter and, 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 and just saying to him, listen, brother, listen, brother, I know you're captive. I know we've got you captive, but God's love still prevails in this place. Others might not do it for you because they don't believe. But I believe and I know you are a believer. And so I demonstrate now his love. I loosen your fetters. I free you a little bit so you don't have pain. And that's a beautiful portrait. It's always been a beautiful portrait for me for his love or of his love rather. Of his love, the loosening, the, the liberty, the freedom, the giving, the addition, the adding value to somebody who doesn't deserve it uh, and who is uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a less fortunate position than you are. And this is a beauty. The Bible says also, and I want to just talk to you about that injunction again. It says also, uh, it is his order. In other words, an order. It's his order, his injunction, that we should believe in the name of the Son of Jesus Christ, that we should love one another just as he has commanded us. Huh? There's a beautiful thing, a love. It's, it's a wonderful thing, this love. You know, often we, we love Love gives, loves for, love gives, love forgives. Love doesn't hold another in bondage for one moment. Love adds value. And uh, so we read about His love. When we were least expectant, when we were least deserving, when we were, didn't even know Him, His love in Ephesians 2.5, it says, even before, <laughs> before I even start to, to teach the word, let's just pray right now. My Father, my Father, we thank you that we are your children and we do receive your love, your love above all expectation. We thank you today for everybody watching. We thank you today for your demonstration of love for us as you hang on the cross impelling us, attracting us, giving us what you have for us, love. Your word says you are love, and that love we receive, that we are able to love, and let people know that we are your disciples because they can see that love in us, with us, and through us. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, amen. Whoever wants to join a group of believers who are all sour, we're all the enemy this, the devil this. Nobody wants to be part of that passive, powerless team. Nobody's attracted to a bunch of moaners and groaners. Especially if he's done everything for them already, but they're still moaning and groaning at the foot of the cross. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that, Eleanor. Calm and watching from Sicily. We don't have to do that from Castle Term, not Castle Termini, from Terracini. Carmen. We don't have to do that, Theo. Hmm? 
we have the, we have a victory not that it's our not that we took that victory but it was given to us we are more than overcome as we heard the other day and that means that we didn't have to battle at all but we have been given the victory which he had battled for and contended for and so the bible says even when we were dead by our shortcomings and our trespasses in other words we're in a place of hopelessness he made us alive we were in a place of death but he gave us life he made us alive together together the same spirit that rose christ jesus from the dead resurrects brings life picks you up with himself the same new life in which god quickened him it's by grace you see People try and work it out. They try and work out their own. Well, the Bible says work out your own salvation, which one does when one comes to the cross. That's you working it out. But after then, it's all in His hands. And the grace that He's given us, the grace of accepting or having the capacity to accept good things which we don't deserve. Many people cannot accept. They cannot receive. They feel guilty to receive. How do you know that? Well, the moment you give them something in love, immediately they say, hang on, uh, I'm going to have to do this for you and I'll do that for you. Immediately it comes forth like that. Hmm? Interesting, you know, when you're driving toward a, 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 a stop street or in South Africa we call it a robot, but it's actually a, a traffic light. And, and there's a beggar. Wherever you, wherever you uh, find a beggar and you give a beggar something, what's the first thing he says? God bless you. In other words, that's a reaction. God bless. It's a reaction. It brings in. It brings out the godliness in one. You give, they give. Eh? But some people, as I said, can't receive. I don't know if you know anybody like that. They can't receive love. Uh, or they can't receive, rather. As soon as you try and give them anything, they are quickly to come back at you and say, well, I'll do this, I'll do, I'll do the other thing for you. Whereas loving and giving is unconditional. You don't do it to get something back. You do it because that is God's nature and you have His nature in you. And the same new life, it's by grace, which you did not deserve, but you are saved from judgment. There it is there. Beautiful. Saved from judgment and partakers in Christ's salvation. Olivia, this is a beautiful thing, Christ's salvation. Huh? No trans party. Has it ever done it for everybody, anybody? You've probably noticed that. Uh, it's His salvation that does it for us. Ephesians 2.6 And here again, He raised us up together. Not separated. Together with Him. And made us sit down there that is Together with Him. In heavenly spheres. In the heavenly sphere. In Christ Jesus, the Anointed One. You know, interesting. Uh... How, inter how interested God is in you. The Bible says He knows every hair on your head. What does that mean? Sis Mabe, Martin Fox Eye. What does that mean? He knows every hair on your head. Well, He knows you so well. You know, someone said to me the other day that, I love these hearts coming up. It's beautiful. Someone said to me the other day that, uh, That all God wants to do is just sit with you. Just sit with you because you, you. No agenda. You know, the world's so based in agenda that we need to be with this person because we'll benefit that. Or for business-wise, we need to network with these guys to benefit by that. No. God, God's love just wants to be with you because you are you. And he enjoys you so much. It's a fellowship. I remember when I... <laughs> I just get this crazy thought here. Uh, I remember when I was uh, a young boy. Uh, probably in about grade... Grade 1. Grade 1, grade 2. I, I wasn't... I didn't know enough about the word. But the only thing I knew was the benediction. May the, what may the Spirit... May the fellowship, may the, may the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. That's the only bit of religious 
words I knew. And I used to practice preaching with the cows. I used to stand and say, may the, may the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be amongst you huh? and remain with you always. May the love and his fellowship, whatever cases. Many of those cows used to stand there like this, look at me and go, oh, oh. You see, everything, every, every human, every animal understands love. Especially mammals. Snakes, I don't know so much if they understand love, but uh, they don't. You can feed them, you can feed them mice your whole life. They'll turn around and bite you. They don't understand love. But in any mammal like dogs and cats, mice, and, they understand love. It, it's an it's a international, it's a, it's a universal uh, phenomenon, if you like, introduced through the cross of Calvary. Ephesians 2 7. He did this that he might clearly demonstrate through the ages to come. Love is not historical. Love, love can never, ever be outdated. Love doesn't get old. That's why we have fond memories of those that have gone before us, of their love. We, we speak of their love. That's why we have celebratory services of their love. And we bring to mind the, the good things that, that they did, focusing on the love that they had. Very seldom at any, at any celebratory service or any funeral do we talk about the bad points. <laughs> Imagine that. We speak about their love. And so that he might demonstrate through the ages to come the immeasurable riches of his free grace in kindness and goodness and heart toward us by Jesus Christ. Where there's love, there's grace. Where there's grace, there's love. And Ephesians 5.1, I love the book of Ephesians. Ephesians 5.1 says, Therefore, be imitators of God. Copy him. Follow his example. As well balanced children. As well balanced children imitate their father. You know, as a young boy, I remember my dad, my foster dad, uh, he used to he used to be quite a healthy and he used to chop wood. And uh, of course I used to be with him. He used to tell me not to stand here, but stand over there for safety's sake. And he was chopping wood uh, because he did it for exercise. And so I wanted to chop wood as well. And so I remember he, he got me a piece of wood that I could just hit on a, on a piece of another wood. And, and that type of imitating, you know, the way he walked, the way he talked, the way he sat. Uh, one does this. Little boys do that with their fathers. And I think girls do that with their mothers. Even girls maybe do it with their fathers. They pick up mannerisms. And so we pick up this mannerism. Of God, we imitate it uh, of love because it's such a beautiful universal language. And walk in love as Christ loved us and gave Himself up for us, slain a slain offering, a sacrifice of God, huh? a sweet fragrance. One thing people remember, Martin, they remember love, they remember love. Martin uh, appears. They remember love. Hmm? It's a sweet fragrance. Yeah, it's incredible. 1 John 4 8. He who does not love has not become acquainted with God. For God, there it is there. God is love. When you have, when you're born again, you have Him, and because you have Him, you can love. Before you couldn't love, you were just in lust, just ability to get at the expense of others. But with love, you, it's ability to give at your expense. One John four nine, and in the love of God, and this, sorry, and this, the love of God, was made manifest, where we are concerned. In that. God sent His Son, the only begotten, His unique Son, into the world so that He might live through Him. 
Jesus Christ was God incarnate. It was God incarnate means incarnate, which means to take flesh. So the Spirit of God took flesh uh, and manifest as the Son of Man. Likewise, you are a Son of Man. Uh, when you come to the cross, you then become His Son, and you, you, He is incarnate through you. You carry that love. You are that love. You are that love. In this love, the love of God is made manifest. John 1 John 14. In this love, the, in this is love, that we love God, but that, he, but that He loved us and sent His Son for the appropriation of our sins. In other words, to remove our sins. Listen, brothers and sisters, let me ask you a question. If love is a kind of giving, why do people always want to put religion to Christianity? Why do they want to put religion to belief? Why do they want to put people down the whole time and judge people the whole time? Huh? When full freedom has been given to them. For freedom, we've been set free. For freedom, his love was demonstrated. For freedom, his love was demonstrated. So why do we then want to, not, not us, but others maybe, not you, uh, why do they want, always want to have people jumping through hoops? Huh? It's incredible. It's incredible. Beloved, if God loved us so very much, we also ought to love one another. There, we can't get away from this. You can't believe and not love. And yeah, he has a big truth here. In, look, even, even this digital device receives love. I don't know how, but it certainly does. It certainly makes it whistle, makes it start a whistle. 1 John 4 19, we love him because. He first loved us, loved us. Love is reciprocal. If you love somebody, they will return the love. If you smile at somebody, they will smile at you. If you're kind with somebody, they will be kind to you. If you notice somebody, they will notice you. It's incredible, this love. Because He loved us, we love Him. What happens if He didn't love us? It wouldn't have been modeled. It wouldn't have been demonstrated. His love wouldn't have been demonstrated for us. 1 John 4.20 If anybody says, I love God, and hates his brother, he's a liar. For he does not love his brother, whom he's seen, cannot love God, <laughs> whom he's not seen. Hmm? Blessed are you, that love, if you haven't seen. You know, this unseen love is it manifests on these social media sites, you know. It's so easy to love in the vacuum of the digital. People within the first day they meet on these social media sites are declaring their un undying love for each other and wanting to get married and, and engaged the very same day. God's created that way. Didn't, you know, hasn't created that, that we get married the same day, but in that vacuum that you cannot see, there's a, is a great demonstration of His love for us and our love for Him as well. Matthew 10, 7. And because we love, because we have this love, it moves us. His love moves us, Kachi. With his love, it's very difficult to remain stationary, to, main, to remain in one place. It's very difficult to do that. Because you've experienced his love, it, it, one just wants to shout it from the roost, rooftops. Just one, one just wants to declare it. And that's why it says in Matthew 10, 7, As you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Full of love, full of joy, full of peace. 
full of forgiveness. Not bad news. Good news. And Matthew 10, 8 says, Cure the sick. Because the sick want love relief. Raise the dead. For you're not supposed to die. Once you've been through the cross. You've died once. Why do you want to die again? Cleanse the lepers. Drive out demons. Set people free. For freely you have received. So freely give. Huh? Freely you have received his love. Freely you've received it. So now. Hmm? So now. We freely give. We freely give. And that's a beautiful thing. His love. It's awesome. It's an awesome thing. The love of the Lord. Just start to receive His love right now. Wherever you are. Receive it right now. It's a beautiful thing, His love. It covers all. It warms the heart. It's acceptance. Come unqualified. For He is our qualified assurance. And so a number of you already have, have sought coaching in, in areas of your life where you're able to be taken by His love through good to great. Where you're able to be impact more than you may be impacting others at the moment. And so if you'd like to find out a little bit more about coaching, just in the comments slip, put coaching in your name. Martin, I've, I've, we spoke about this yesterday, which is great. Michelle, we've spoken about this already. Uh, Lorica, we've spoken about this. Uh, and it's always great to receive coaching from somebody that's qualified as I am, but also from... Uh, Someone that's experienced also in the in the kingdom, experienced in the in ministry, that can add massive value and save you many years and a lot of money. And then, of course, this Friday coming, we've got the B set weight free virtual gathering. You know, when love is love is sharing with others your experiences. And in this weight-free virtual gathering, I share my experience, how I lost so much weight after having a mild stroke, and what are good things to eat, and what things you should avoid, and what five things I, I changed my eating habits. And also over here, uh, the type, the different types of cholesterol you get, why sugar is so bad for you, what fats you should you should uh, focus on, and what fats you should never ever partake in. It's a great, great read, and there's a whole index in the back as well. Whatever food you want to check, which is good for you, you can go into the back of this book, and it's by alphabetical order. And you can see their energy bars if they're good for you, energy intake. Uh, in actual fact, no energy bar is good for you. Let me tell you now. Full of sugar. Whatever, whatever form it comes. Condiments. Dairy. Drinks. So it's got tons of information in for you. It gives you a list of which foods to eat that which are med medicinal for you. What foods to partake in. That if you eat, you will not put on weight. What foods to sometimes eat. What foods to never, ever, ever eat. All yeah, all under under these two covers. So that's five o'clock, Friday five. Tomorrow five o'clock. If you haven't got climbed in there, get climbing in. I know Kachi you're joining us tomorrow as well. Uh, tomorrow five o'clock on Zumma. And we have a great time there. And and so also for if you want to attend, get the book as well. It's a great handbook. It's left afterwards with you. And uh, that's what I want to share with you today. His love, His grace, His peace. If there's any prayer for any prayers you need, 
please just send it uh sheldon just uh sheldon uh, long time so last saw you sheldon i think they'll welcome jillian from the usa i saw you last time in durban i think it was sheldon a great great believing brother sheldon i think we had curry together and then dalen's also with us welcome dalen i didn't see these the, all these messages that i'm scrolling down here now shama shama means god's presence he's shama uh, jehovah shama god is present is with us as well and uh okay shama you want a bit of coaching we'll talk about that and just just also send me your uh, email address so i can just get to you get the information to you as well so so it's a great great time we're having if you any prayer you need just send it uh comment it to me now that i can just pray for you before we end off we've got about another five minutes and a few more minutes I just wanted to keep the the the, the B set freeze at threes to three minutes up to 30 minutes sometimes you go a little longer it doesn't matter uh, but just that we can have some type of border tomorrow as well we have B set free at three uh, if you'd like to be part of the B set free at B set free at three whatsapp group just send me your number also in the comments I'll add you uh, it's a great place I send little videos every now and again and something extra which you don't see on B set free at three pictures and that type of stuff amen so we raise a hallelujah huh? and martin also wants to come to the he said wait free tomorrow okay martin i'll sort that out for you that could be great so from me to you his goodness his mercy his grace his peace his kingdom his power his love his peace is yours. Not, th not that you can do anything to deserve it. It's all that which is already done for you. And so from me to you, life and peace, life and peace, life and peace. I'm praying for you. Pray for me. I'm, I'm expecting a miracle. My wife's still in Germany. I'm here in South Africa. I'm expecting a, a flight. Just to open up like this. Come on. Either way, doesn't matter. Pray for me. Pray for us. Let's have some hearts up the side of the column again. Catch you. I see you pumping them. There we go. And let's have the other guys also partaking here with his beautiful hearts. So, yeah. There we go. Raise it like a banner. Raise it like a flood, this guy says. Amen. Tomorrow we do another teaching on his love. There's so much about love. So much, so much, so much. Good to see you. Great to spend time with you. Really, I really enjoy it. It makes my whole day uh, spending time with you. you know. Starting the morning, preparing what I'm going to say the day and do what I need to do. But I, I can't wait. I'm always watching my watch for 3 o'clock. I mean, 3 o'clock. Three minutes to three, I, I, I tune in every day just to make sure I'm on time and everything is ready for you. So from me to you.